Back again, week 13 in the NFL. I am here with Carlos Rodriguez. It's time to do some fucking NFL picks. Get these people ready to go, Carlos. Let's run it. Wait, uh, you had to do tell me about that you were at the game. I was at yeah. I had, yeah. We could start with last week. You had, you and Brett both pick Raiders plus nine. Yeah, at plus nine and a half. I think yeah. So I went to the game and I got a chance to see the Raiders go out to a 14-0 lead, and I was like, holy shit! Like because yeah. I have a bet in currently for the Raiders to make the playoffs. I put it in after McDaniel's got fired. I was like, oh fuck, this team's gonna be ready to go. <laughs> And since then, it's kind of been like on the wow. downward slide. They yeah. still, you know, anything could happen. It's still possible. Yeah, it's crazy. It's, it is still possible, but it's like they need a lot of shit to happen. Now. They need a gang of shit to happen. Yeah. <laughs> but they went up 14 0, and I think you felt the same way I felt. Mm-hmm. Like this team's got a chance. Yeah, because they looked good, man. They looked good. They were running the ball well. Defense was holding up. They were getting, getting to uh, Mahomes and stuff like that. And then. And then they just and then they just all fell apart. You can only stop Patrick Mahomes. I think I realized this. You can stop him twice a game, yeah. Like from scoring any sort of points. Like after the Raiders got their two stops early on in the game, I was like, if they could keep it up, I mean, this is how teams beat Patrick Mahomes. But I then saw them not do that. And then you said the rookie's gonna rookie. Yeah, the rookie's gonna rookie. And the the the, the messed up part about the whole thing is, you know, like uh, that I was that I was a little upset is like Patrick Holmes and and the Chiefs. They've been like they've been winning the first half only, and then the second half is when they shit the bed. So I was like, all right, well maybe there there's some hope there. But all of a sudden they want to turn it on this year and you know on this game in the second half. Yeah, which was which was terrible. But yeah, the rookie's gonna rookie, and then you know Marcus Peters is gonna Peter Peter out. Fuck I, <laughs> that missed tackle. I was like. Holy shit, dude! You cannot do that. It let up a. It was a huge. It was a third down. I think he missed that like wide open field tackle, and I was like, "That's what every Raiders fan has been saying." I don't really watch the Raiders enough to be like, "Damn, Marcus Peters misses a lot of fucking plays." But yeah, they got rid of him quick. Yeah, they, they. He he was sitting on that sideline, upset and pissed and sad, and they were like, "Nah, bro, we're not." You gotta go. It's the same old song and dance, right? They they're trying to find their their pieces, but they did not cover for you. No, uh, and Brett. So that's a loss. We were like big time fucking losers. I feel like we <laughs> shit the bed. My first show, and I come in and I give picks, and I picked the one in nine Panthers to beat the Titans, which it was like a close game, but. There was never a chance. Derrick Henry scored two touchdowns. So that bet lost for me. And then I also picked the Saints, the sorry fucking organization. <laughs> and I lost that pick too. So I avoided both of those teams this week mm-hmm. for these next picks. Which, which, which one you got for this week? So my first pick for this week, I am going to go with the New York Jets. They're okay. at home. They're playing the Falcons. They're getting three points. So they are the underdogs at home. I am picking this solely because, like, that defense is really good and they're tired of, you know, not being in fucking, like, winning positions. And they hadn't been able to do that versus the Dolphins the week before, like, when they got creamed on Black Friday here. And I think this is a game where, like, the Falcons are coming in and they're favorites. And I don't think the Falcons play good as favorites. Mm. And so the defense for the Jets is going to step up. I think the Jets are playing... uh, Tim Boyle at quarterback. Do you know who the, uh, the new Jets quarterback name is? No, I don't know. Isn't the new name? I don't know the new guy. I don't know that Zach Wilson is not playing though. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you know what Aaron Rodgers did today? Once again, he said, "If we make it to the playoffs, <laughs> I can. I'm, I'm planning on making a return." How do you feel about Aaron Rodgers continually saying a fucking blatant lie? Uh, it. it I, I just think sometimes he just wants uh, he, he his, his attention, and yeah. he doesn't have it. He's not making any stats this year, so he's like, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna say that I'm coming back from this ACL tear tomorrow, and yeah. that doesn't work. He's like, and then I'm gonna say, you know, we're gonna do it. You know, go to the playoffs, and I just think he needs he needs to have someone look at him really quick, like look at me, look at me type of shit. Yeah, and if he came back, he would. I I'm predicting it, and I'm gonna continue to predict it. If he comes back this season, he may die on the field. Like I like <laughs> yeah. he's not gonna be able to run, bro. Like How old as he a, know? he's 36, something like that. Yeah, in his late 30s, it's like. Achilles, you can't run in the pocket, and I'm going to blitz you every fucking play. It, it would be a bad situation, but I'm taking the Jets here. Okay. Because, one, 
I kind of do want to see Aaron Rodgers die on the field. Like, <laughs> I think he could, you know, this the first step in their playoff run here, keep yeah. him in contention. What do you got for your first pick? Uh, my first pick is uh, I'm going to uh, take the under from the Commanders and the Dolphins game. It's at 50. That's so, so high. Yeah, it's super Whoa. high. It's at 50. So I'm actually going to throw, I'm probably going to, it's it's minus 110. So I'm probably going to throw $500 down because that seems like a really good bet. Whoa, I did not uh, know your unit size there, my friend. You, yeah, just, you just showed I'm, me. I'm you're, a piece of shit. You're, <laughs> but you go <laughs> yeah. you go big with a straight bet. Yeah. You're not fucking parlaying. You're not yeah. throwing a $500 down, $500 <laughs> down on a, a three legger or yeah. whatever. So. You're pretty smart with it. Yeah, yeah. How long have you been bet? Like, do you normally? Yeah. Like, have you always been a a big better? Like, yeah. the straight up, yeah. It's a straight up bet, then it's a big bet. But if it's like, yeah, like you said, the parlay, if I want to fuck around and just, you know, keep it long, I'll, I'll throw like twenty five bucks on a three leg parlay. But usually, it's always big on on something big, and I've Whoa. lost fucking big. <laughs> it, I've, I've, it's funny, man. I was like, I I used to say this thing. I was like, like great players will. Will make you remember great games, and great games will make you remember great plays, and but but gambling will make you remember every fucking single down. Damn, <laughs> when, when you dude. gamble, like yeah, because you're like yeah. <laughs> no, I get you, I get you. Yeah, it, it's seared in your brain, especially at that fucking size. See, I've my biggest bet I've ever put down was five hundred bucks, mm-hmm. and it was on a parlay. But yeah. I was I I was like on a winning streak, and then I was like. Oh fuck it! Like yeah. let's just see if this if I can actually make some magic and it hit. But then ever since then I'm like I never want to have to go through that again. Like, <laughs> no, because it's, it's fucking aggravating. And it was multiple sports too. It was, I went, it was nuts. I went time I went four grand on. Uh, I took. Uh, uh, it was back when Airbender um, took the. Uh, this is the UFC though. It, he he uh, jumped up in weight. And he, uh, I can't remember what the other guy's name was now. I just know it was the air, Airbender dude. I'm not a big uh, yeah, Stylebender. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Stylebender. Uh, Airbender. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Avatar. Airbender. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh. yeah. See, that's how so much I didn't know. Was, yeah. And I was just like, I go. I just thought I was like, this dude's going up in weight class. That's all I knew that he was a skinny dude and going up in weight class. And this other guy just looked big and burly. I was like, he's just grabbing and hold on to him. That's all he did the match. I put a thousand dollars down. I won four grand. Holy it was fucking. Shit. It was great. That was, that was one of the wins, but there's a lot of losses. <laughs> All right. All right. We'll, we'll avoid those. I don't yeah. think this is going to be a loser, though. You said 50 points. I think this is all like they think that the Dolphins will score score 40. Pretty much. Yeah. Do the commander score 10 points? Mm. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. But I don't think they will. So that's a good little uh, start to the weekend. Uh, my second pick, I'm going to go Indianapolis Colts minus one and a half. They are playing at the Tennessee Titans. I, that's a good one. I, so, yeah, I mean, Jonathan Taylor's playing mm-hmm. back to normal Jonathan Taylor status. And then Gardner Minshew. Did you know he's the second? Gardner Minshew the second? Oh, really? Oh, so there's another Gardner. The dad is. <laughs> I, I didn't. Gardner? I didn't, another Gardner? I just didn't. I'd never seen the, the two on his jersey. I think he just started, like, playing with it or whatever. But, like, he's playing extremely well. And I think the Titans, just like to my point last week, they're going to be tanking, bro. Like, they they are close to the bottom. That win last week against the worst team, yeah, just kind of solidifies you'll get top five. Mm-hmm. But they suck. And so I'm going to continually bet against them. Okay. No, no, that's a good I, – I like that bet. That's a good – it's a it's a pick em too, so it's like, all right. Yeah. Um, so then – uh, so I'm going to go – my second pick is going to be – I'm going to take Eagles plus three against the 49ers. I have that as my last pick. Oh, really? So, dude. Yeah. How do the Eagles at home – <laughs> get three, three points. Yeah, right? Crazy. They're the best team in the league in your eyes, or do you think – well, obviously Vegas thinks it's the 49ers. Yeah. But you as a football fan, like, the Eagles are doing something now. I think I heard earlier this week that they're the only Super Bowl runner-up that has ever started 10-1 and one, or 9-1, and one, whatever the record is right now. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, because uh, of the Super Bowl hangover, huh? Yeah, yeah. That's right. So they're doing something that's never been done before. I think Jalen Hurts is going to be the MVP of the the league. Well, the reason why I, the reason why I picked this is because uh, the Forty ers did a lot of bitching and moaning uh, when they lost, and mm-hmm. they and I think it's a lot of bullet bu- uh, what do they call it uh, uh, bulletin board uh, 
um, material. Material, yeah. yeah. So I think that these guys, because they did, they did a lot of talking after they lost to the uh, Eagles They're like, last oh, year. Oh, you know, if we would have had a quarterback, we would have fucking yeah. definitely beat you guys. And then when they, they and then when they lost, they're like, we would have beat the Chiefs. We would have beat we would have beat them. Then we would have beat you. And it's like, all right, motherfuckers. Like, okay, well, we'll see you guys again. And I think that that's what I think that's what's gonna happen. We'll see you motherfuckers right now. <laughs> yeah. So I think I'm like, oh, you're, and you're gonna give us three points too? Yeah, it's it's happening. And they're they're pissed. Yeah. I think that they're pissed. No, they're without a doubt like. They're a team that their leader, being Jalen Hurts, did you see his reaction after the field goal was made yeah. uh, to send it into overtime? Mm -hmm. So, like, he kicks a 59 yard field goal, and Jalen Hurts is watching it. It's a good field goal. He just goes, <laughs> I'm like, well, you, he showed men's no, showed no emotion. Yeah. He was just like, gonna win this shit in overtime. <laughs> He's so fucking, like, stoic. Yeah. I think it's like it's good for Philly. Mm -hmm. It's kind of opposite Philly, you think, right? Like, I've never been to Philadelphia, but I always heard they're like rough and tough, like fucking. Oh, I've, I've been over. To yeah, yeah it's, it's it's extroverted people. Yeah, dude, it's fucking nuts, man. I I think Philly's been the only place that I've been like legit, like, oh fuck, I got to get out of here because uh, <laughs> I went to listen really quick anecdote real quick. I went to uh, I went to go do, I went to because I'm I'm sober. I went to, I tried to find an AA meeting. And you know, I wasn't paying attention. I just got an Uber and went to the address. And I looked down, and I'm, and I'm, uh, and I'm, <laughs> I'm like, just fucking around on my phone. And then they drop me off, and I get out, and I look across the street where the AME is supposed to be, and it's shut down. It's a whole like boarded up old school methadone clinic. Apparently, they never took it off of the website. So I'm there, and there's like, I have this joke. I go, you know, you're in a bad neighborhood when there's more men on bikes than children. And <laughs> and dude, it was it was nuts, dude. And I go, and then I look around and I see that there's a, a Boost Mobile store and a fucking liquor store. I was like, I, I'm like, dude, I gotta I gotta get. So I went to the Boost Mobile store and I was like, yo, man, I'm gonna I'm gonna get an Uber. Can I just chill out in here real quick? He's like, yeah, man, don't be out there. Even the the store owner was like, don't be out there, <laughs> dude. It was what was that? It was by by uh, I want to say Kingston or some shit like that. I can't remember. It, it was uh, by Kensington. Kensington, yeah, I yeah. think Kensington. Yeah, it was like right by the, the the train stop. And I was like, dude, I gotta get the fuck out of here. But yeah. Uh, uh, Philly, Philly don't fuck with Philly, man. They don't fuck around. <laughs> yeah. So uh, Philly underdogs at home. Fuck yeah. 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 Fuck yeah. What's your last pick? My last pick. This is going to be. Uh, so they fired the coach. They fired Frank Wright. Correct. So I'm taking. I'm actually taking this horrible Panthers plus five and a half against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I mean, they're at Tampa, and I know down the road. And I just think. Uh, I think that. Um, I don't think Frank Wright wanted this quarterback. And mm -hmm. I think he kind of did everything he could to kind of like sabotage it. And yep. I think uh, I think he's gonna get the little, the playbook to be opened up a little more, and he could get. I think this kid, we're gonna see something. And just like it happened with the Raiders as well. Like I think you know once you fire a coach, the whole team rallies around. It's like, hey, let's do it now. Let's have let you know the whole new regime. I don't think they're gonna. Right. I think they're gonna be a little happier. Same thing. I think what's gonna happen might with the Saints if they if they get oh, rid of Dennis Allen. Dude, <laughs> me and my uncle have started a fucking conspiracy that. The Saints are actually just a Vegas bred team. Like, like every, they're not going to fire Dennis Allen because he's perfect. He's the perfect puppet to fucking uh -huh. instrument all this shit. Pete Carmichael sucks. I mean, the fact that they haven't even started the rumblings of people should be fired just goes to show that this is a crooked fucking organization. <laughs> but I love it. I, I'm a, I, you know, I'm excited to see the way that the next like bounty gate comes out, but it's actually about sports betting and, Shit, yeah. Dennis Allen point shaving. The way that fucking the Broncos are playing right now. I mean, we might have another bounty gate on our hands. Holy shit. Yeah. Can you imagine? They're like all of a sudden just all, of, they're really incentivized. They're yeah. Like, they're, you see that? They, 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 they've gotten tons of uh, fines now and penalties and, you know, and, 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 and leading with helmet. Balls. I have not, I did not see this report. I thought you were like fucking around, but I, I, Sean Payne's no. history, like, yeah, no, one of the dudes, uh, he, te well, at the, when they played the Raiders, he knocked out Jacoby Myers and then he knocked somebody else out and then they, they suspended him and then fined him. And then some other guy, then they just hit, what's his name in the mouth? And had a shit bleeding on the, on the Brown, mm. Browns game, mm -hmm. and then it was there's more instances like so it's like oh, okay they're like hey this hey <laughs> we should fucking pay attention to these guys yeah, yeah. yeah I mean Sean Payton that sly son of a bitch <laughs> he fucking knows how to how to teeter the line my friend Same. so you took uh, the Panthers I love it because of exactly the way you described it whenever there's a new coach new blood everyone kind of comes to work and they're like oh well, this is 
fun again. You know, yeah. I can imagine it kind of like reinvigorates them a little bit. That division is such a shit show that if the Panthers go on a run here at the end, mm -hmm. dude, they might be able to like win the division. Like the Saints don't have that many wins. The Falcons don't have that many wins. The Buccaneers don't have that many wins. So if they can like, mm -hmm. and I'm sure they play a lot of divisional games later on in their schedule. I don't know. There's a chance. There's five more weeks left, right? Uh, correct. Six. There's six altogether. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So you go six and zero. Oh, You're seven and whatever the fuck. Kind of seven fucking, and ten. Yeah. Seven. I mean, you still need a lot of teams to lose, which the NFC South tends to do. Um, yeah. I, somebody's got to win. Somebody's got to win. You know what'd be fucked too is they, if they do go on a run and then Chicago loses their first round pick. Oh <laughs> fuck! You're right. Because you're that's, right. That they'll get their first round pick. Damn, that is very important. That is important. But all right, all Carlos. Right, right on. Uh, we got to put this in the description. It will be in the description, all of our picks. And until next week, yeah? Yeah. All right. Right on. Late. Late.